Hello, it's Titania, the Fairy Queen from Etsy. Um, it's been a long time, but I'm here to present you with two things. Concept, I guess, pieces of Severus Snape. Um, so we'll start off first with Severus Snape's um, daybook. In the be at the front cover, there's his nameplate. Um, this essential like daybook cover is really, really special because I really um, put in everything. I had to distress this as much as possible. You can tell like the edges are super worn out like how you see in very, very old vintage books to the point where you can actually see the chipboard inside. Hopefully that focuses. Yeah, there's a lot of distressing, a lot of like ink stains. Um, it's The fabric uh, is all hand dyed, hand distressed by me. And the spine of the day book, I can get that in frame. <laughs> There's like a um, very traditional old um, binding techniques, I guess, of like having, uh, binding the signatures with an actual twine um, piece, but I don't actually use twine. It's a faux, faux twine binding. I just like the effect and the look of it. It looks a lot more, I don't know, vintage, I guess. And here's the back, just as distressed. Here's the top. I have, I sort of tried to make a twine headband. I don't know how well it worked out, but I think I like the effect. Bottom, and of course the sides. It has tabs sticking out of it. Oops. Well, if you take out his nameplate too, it looks a little worn. Severus Nate. Okay. Moving on, so the inside um, is just a black uh, front cover page. Um, I had a lot of issues with actually installing the the signature, the, the block, the text block into this, into the actual cover of the book. So I eventually just chose gluing on a black uh, sheet like end page that has to like be traditionally glued to the front of the first page as well so unfortunately you can only see like three-fourths of this like um sewn in frankenstein page now we're moving on here's like a, the cover page the ex libris half blood prince little tuck spots uses my um, digi kits. You can find those on Etsy. Ledger paper. Of course, you gotta include the potion making book that has actual, this book is property of the Half-Blood Prince. Like title on it. It's like a small like scholar's monthly report. Almost like a report card, I guess. Really cute. Um, got it off the graphics fairy, I think, and a half blood prints. Um, Severus used this to like jot down his ideas, his like daily happenings, store like random notes. Did you stamping and like actual stamping? The actual stamp bled through. I used the um, Tsukaneko alcohol ink. flips out like classified advertisements like wizardry advertisements cool and of course actual um, potion making in the center of the signature lots of little potiony chemistry looking things uh, ephemera Of course, the little collage quotes. It's like a big old tag, you can just write on it. Here's like a large collage piece. I 
I uh, try to branch out a little more. As you can tell, I do a lot more collaging, lots of inspiration from Roxy Creations and the Mushroom Market. Love their collage pieces. Cute little library stamp card. <laughs> and here's a tag that I made. And it just says Hogwarts Apothecary and signed by Severus Snape on the bottom. Here's a, if I can just wiggle this out, it's a tight pocket. I have a few of these experiment cards. I think I got it from the graphics fairy as well. And essentially, it's just like potions that Severus has made, like the date and things that he used, um, all handwritten uh, by me. <laughs> we can pretend it's Severus. Whatever floats your boat. More collaging. Here's another experiment card. This one's for Felix Felicis, aka Liquid Luck. There's a little tag. I got this like layout um, from Sheena from Luna Rosu. Just like pulls out like this. I think it just looks super cool. Like a cascading effect. Oops. Of course, lots of. Lots of little um, half sheets included as well. I like having this word sever in it. Severus. Here's another Franken page, as Nick the Booksmith would call them. So all the tabs are just like medicinal vintage labels that I just folded and sewed in to the pages. Hogwarts map. Here's a definition for always, of course, for Severus. I like this illustration of a man brewing. like a page from a liturgy book I think it just has like col a cauldron yeah, very very old book very yellowed here's another page from that old book book and sword book and knife huh There's like a little flip out. And there's a quote. And a Windegrad water plants. Like book thingy. Mostly just here because I feel like if you make potions then you'd have to be well versed in knowing the different type of ingredients that go into the potions, which are mostly plants, right? And here's the final page. It's like a little scrap collage thing. And a ledger note. Again, it's like a day book, so perhaps he kept track of like his receipts, things he had to buy to make potions. And again, the black end page. 
And that concludes Severus Snape's day book. Now moving on to Severus Snape's apothecary. So it's supposed to be um, opened um, vertically, but you can open it horizontally as well. So if we turn this, oh, something fell over. Oh well, we'll fix it. We'll fix it when the time comes. Um, so we turn it over, there's like stickers of like um, potion labels and ingredient labels. And of course it's like nameplate, Severus name. I just think it looks really cool. Okay, so here is the pot Severus Snape's apothecary with the lid open. I can just take you a closer look. Each shelf, oops, like little shrunken heads, shrunken skulls, I mean. It's the final shelf on the bottom. So even without um, the potions, there's like polyjuice potion, like label, potion labels already stuck to the walls of the apothecary cupboard if you can see it also comes with a hogwarts pendant a necklace pendant so whoever gets this you can wear that wear or just like leave it inside like i have it right now some of the potion bottles actually have like potion labels like this one says love potion this one says stop the clock and it's just filled with like cut up words This potion is like brain enhancing an elixir and it's just like a bunch of skulls, kind of like the same skulls that I use for the shrunken skulls here. This one's really special because in it is actually a charm that says, if I can get it, always, you can see that. And here's like another Easter egg potion, I guess. I try I painted these um, round white beads with like green and black to look like eyes. Like, huh, I wonder why you would have specifically only green eyes, right? Anyway, that's the apothecary. For more information on inf uh, availability, just please look into the description below and check out my Etsy, the, uh, the Fairies Garden at Etsy.com. Thanks for watching!